Well, the train of the World Cup has fully gathered momentum, and this momentum has been, you know, I wanted to make the locomotive sound, but I remember only few trains run on locomotion these days. They run basically on steam, and this particular uh, electrifying, absolutely amazing beauty train is the Russia 2018 World Cup. And my oh my, are we absolutely excited to have you join us yet again today on All About The Game, a special production brought to you by Afri One Mobile. Afri One Mobile, the first ever made in Nigeria, smartphones and tablet, and now now, Nigeria's fastest mobile wallet. My name is Babajide Guerrero, and yes, the smile is still very much on my face. I mean, it's gonna be like this to the end of this production. Two things, why? I mean, this is because it's a World Cup season, and then the Nigerian team also made every Nigerian smile at this time. But speaking of smiling, a lot of people are smiling at this time, smiling to the bank because of the cash rewards Afri One and Now Now have been doling out on social media. And you're asking me how? Yes, it's quite simple. It's not rocket science, people. All you need to just go predict on our social media platform at Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. Afri One Mobile and then Now Now Nigeria all across board. And do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And speaking about winning, well, the Belgian can't stop um, winning in this particular uh, group. Of course, uh, they've got they defeated Panama earlier. I mean, three goals to nil, and they recently took the scalp of Tunisia, five goals to two. What that means, simply put, is that Tunisia will be the third African team to be knocked out in the World Cup, and that right there is joining their Arab brothers, Tuni um, Morocco, and of course. Egypt at this particular time. Well, Romelu Lukaku joining Cristiano Ronaldo in good, 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 comfortable place right there in a run for the um, golden boot. I mean, that's the fourth goal. Two brace, double braces he scored in his last two games. And of course, Aiden Aza getting another brace and then Michi Bashuai putting the Tunisians to the sword. And speaking about putting somebody to the sword, the Germans finally came to the party. The reigning, defending champions. Easily one of the best teams in the world at this point. Had to leave it late to cut see Tony Cruz um, Go beautiful go beautiful beautiful go beautiful teamwork right there and Tony Cruz putting that one to bed finally putting Sweden to the sword Th two goals to one it ended what that means is that the last game will be absolutely crucial the last game against South Korea the South Koreans also lost today they lost to Mexico and Mexico are finally also saying that the experience is finally coming to bear I mean when I talk about experience I talk about a team that has got Carlos Vela close to 100 caps, um, you know, they've also got Giovanni Don Santos, they've got, uh, what now, um, Ivan Glossano, who was in absolute phenomenal form against um, Germany. And then they, they won that game two goals to one at 2 nil. I liked what um, Osorio, the coach of uh, Mexico, did. He brought, he removed um, Cordrado. Cordrado was the, the day's captain. He was actually making his 150th cap for Mexico. He substituted him to bring in another man who has over the years been there, been there, done that, destroyed that. Rafael Marquez, he was playing in his fifth World Cup. He's been captain for at four. That just tells you the sheer level of, 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 of confidence, the sheer level of experience. And then he came at that particular time when they were on the ascendancy to stable the ship. But unfortunately, he almost gave a chance, you know, to key for scoring. But aside from that, it was a comfortable win because the South Koreans, it's been a World Cup of a lot of late goals. Yes, if you follow this World Cup from the World Goal when uh, Russia defeated Saudi Arabia, five goals to nil. We saw two goals scored in the 90 minutes. We've, we've also seen 90 minutes go, 90 minutes go from um, Coutinho and Neymar. Um, of course, we've also seen late goals from Nigeria. We've seen late goals as well from Iceland. We've seen late goals from Croatia. So you can never really, really blink in this World Cup and that just tells you the absolute beauty. Beauty will continue tomorrow as match day 12 is on the burner. Panama will play England and at the same time we'd like to see what um, the Senegalese will bring. The athleticism, the beauty of the Senegal team will be coming out against Japan. Two teams that won their first game in a 
run to win you know their second game to seal a place in the second round of things especially as regards the world cup our man viola kazim is live in st petersburg and viola is having fun remarkable time and trust me when i say this i'm sure viola had a heck of a time and yeah he's having fun without me so we join viola right now in russia Hi, Biola. I bet the mood would have been perfectly set for a party yesterday as you got Super Eagles winning against Iceland. Did you attend any party? All right, Baba Jide, St. Petersburg was one big old party for Nigerian fans yesterday. And I'm um, asking if I attended any. Let me give that a little bit secret. Let's just say I did sleep in my hotel room yesterday night. I mean, I see here for my boys. Uh, we are all so, 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 so happy and so excited because now we're going to that final game against Argentina with hopes of going through to the second round. And who knows, this might be the first time that Nigeria will get somebody off Argentina at the World Cup. We met them three times on all three occasions and um, we lost. But there's something that tells me that Nigeria feeling, that Nigeria spirit that tells me that this time it's not going to happen. So hopefully the boys will go on and do what they did in the second half against Iceland. I mean, I thought that a lot of credit will have to go to the players but also going to roll in a couple of really, really important things in the second half. Um, so Biola agreeing to having a bit of fun without me. It's fine, not a problem. So um, to my next question, Biola. This win, it kind of heightens the level of optimism and belief in the team, especially going to the second game against Argentina. How do you think the players are coping with the pressure? All right, so does this win heighten the expectations and the pressure on the survivors? Well, um, I think yes, uh, because Nigerians now expect to go through to the second round. I think that that's a good thing. I mean, life is all about responsibility, and I imagine that the survivors will be taking responsibility in that game against Argentina. Remember, we go into that game in a very strong position in second place. We have three points already. The Argentines have won, the Icelanders or the... The guys from Iceland um, have won as well. Remember, Croatia are already through uh, with six points. What that means is that our fortunes are completely in our hands. If we win the game against Argentina, no question, we are going through. If we draw, maybe then we will start considering the result that Iceland got, how many goals Argentina you know, defeated us by, and all of those kind of permutations, um, which are not the best. But a win absolutely guarantees that off we go to the next round, and I imagine that the Super Eagles of Nigeria will go on and do it. Are they under pressure? Absolutely, but you know that when you do anything on behalf of 170, 180 million people, that's pressure right there. All right, lastly, Biola, time to evaluate another African team because we've got Senegal on the front burner. They'll be playing against Japan. These two teams, remember, won their first games in the tournament. How do you think this will pan out, really? Senegal versus Japan, that looks like an interesting game, particularly if you are Senegalese or from a Senegalese perspective, because all Senegal have to do is win that game and off they go to the second round. We saw them against Poland. Clearly, I'll play the Polish, um, I'll train them and show that athleticism that African football can be about, even though they showed as well that in terms of um, general play, that they are the better footballers. I mean, they played really, really well. From an African point of view, you can be really, really proud of how they played. And I'll put my money on Senegal to go through against Japan. Japan won their game against Colombia, but you get the feeling that that had a lot to do with Carlos Sanchez's rush of blood to the head, um, where for whatever reason, very, very um, early into the game, he deliberately handled the ball and got himself sent off. So for almost all of 90 minutes, Japan had to play 10 men Colombia. That probably wouldn't happen against Senegal. As long as Senegal can keep 11 men on the pitch, as long as they can replicate that performance that we saw against Poland, um, I feel that Senegal um, should win that game and go through to the second round to hopefully join Nigeria. They might be the first to go through to the second round, but I hope that by the time the second round is done, we'll have Senegal in there and we'll also have Nigeria. Thank you very much, Biola. Reaching us live from St. Petersburg. Of course, we'll get to do this yet again. Speaking of doing something again, you know for a fact that you can definitely get to predict, you know, um, the, the score lines of different games at different um, game days in the tournament. We've been doing this from the World Go, from when the World Cup started, uh, especially from the June the 14th up until now, and we'll continue to the end of the World Cup. And it's pretty much simple. All you need to do is just go subscribe to our YouTube channel, that's Afri One Mobile, and of course follow us on our cross social media platforms Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to stand a chance of winning uh, amazing prizes. We got some winners to announce the smartphone winners this particular day from the Nigeria Iceland game. These following persons predicted correctly. All right, so the following persons have won for themselves amazing prizes. Smartphone winner will be um, Peter Eguato and of course Kayode 
Peter has won for himself a cash reward, as well as um, Shojinri Oluwa Sheifumi and Michael Olakudu, as well as Sunday Precious. So four winners for cash rewards, and at the same time, winner of a smartphone, which is Peter Eguato. We'll be reaching out to you guys definitely to come through to our office to come pick up your winning. Thank you very much for following Afri One Mobile and then Now Now. Alright, so all these ones that I've mentioned are proud winners from Afri One Mobile and Now Now. You two can join that particular cast. How? Simple. All you need to do is just to, um, you know, predict the scoreline of today's game and the game in view is a game between England and Panama. Is it going to be 5-0? Is it going to be 4-1? Is it going to be 2-3? Is it going to be 2-0? Is it going to be an upset? All you need to do is just to go to our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, mention Afri1 Mobile and Now Now and then go to our YouTube page, go subscribe and then drop your comment as well. So predict and win. From Afri1 and Now Now, we thank you very much for being part of the show from Interception up until now. My name is Babaji De Guerrero and I will see you at the next match day. Bye for now. <music>